There's another container. Oh, it's a bomber, this one. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's lined up on us. I'm shooting it. Uh, you might want to engage our front shields if we've got the power to spare. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's dead. It's wow. dead. It's dead. And for the record, we don't have the power to spare. Hello, folks. I am Tufty Indigo, and this is the hot new game Void Crew, now in early access. I've been playing this with friends, and we've really had some fun. Uh, we are going away from the facility we're supposed to be We getting. are going away from the facility, but you wanted the loot, I thought. Collecting loot, I yeah. do want the loot. Well, are, you okay? are you okay for loot now, you think? There's a sniper no, to our left. Mike, sniper, no, no, nine o'clock. I'm on it. I'm on it. We might need our colon cleansing, sirs. Yeah, we need to stay. I don't know why you're the designated colon cleanser, but... Uh... No, it's really because they're, they're the designated, uh... Well, I'd, 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 be, I'd be offended if you didn't want me in your bum rev. <laughs> I'm at your anus. <laughs> Thank you. That, yeah, exactly. So it, it does affect my ability to fit more things in there if I haven't. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah. So, what is it, and will you have fun? Boy Crew is a crew simulator game that is a co op game where two to four players work together to fly a ship. You ready? Three, two, yeah. one, charge. Safe charge failed. Yeah. Manual charge in progress. <laughs> well, that didn't go. Did you just not do it? That's uh, similar to games like Artemis, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Pulsar Lost Colony, and Carrier Command 2. Void Crew also takes a leaf from co-op FPS games like Deep Rock Galactic by taking you to standalone, procedurally generated missions with no overall campaign or story progression. Oh, it's... Uh, it's a bit weird. I've gone into the galaxy map, but I can still see the highlight for somebody else wandering around on my screen. Let's look at the gameplay in more detail. Look at Rev in his orange. Your orange thighs and your orange yeah. hat. Look at you. Oh, yeah. This is what happens if you unlock like orange. Fancy sunset. I wish I could unlock oh, yeah, orange. Nice. After assembling your team in the space station... Would you like to sit down, Rev? Yeah. You all get downloaded to new bodies on a ship far away. Right, I'm, I'm just so. going around turning everything on. If we run out of power, oh. it's my fault. There are currently two ship designs with different loadouts that you can unlock. Power network overload. You can also Sorry. add to the ship's systems during the mission by building more guns, generator shields, etc. from loot you pick up. Yeah, do we want to what do we want? Do we want the bean caster or do we want the Any any gun. gun. Bean any caster gun. sounds amazing. We, we just want to try yeah. them out, right? Yeah. <laughs> make any gun and then next time we'll make a different one. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Right, beam cast. Where do we want it? But this doesn't persist between missions, so you can't make custom ship loadouts yet. Okay, well, let's put it here. There are stations on the ship that you sit in to control the guns or pilot the ship. Gun on. Gun on. And other interactables you need to work with every so often. Uh, I'm just trimming the engines again. Including this mechanic where the engine gets less effective over time until you fix it by turning these blinking yellow handles. Oh, shit, we've got... These and the minigame for tuning systems feel very gamey, so they sacrifice realism and immersion to give you more to do in the game. But I think the trade-off works well, uh, and it means nobody's left to stand around and do nothing. There's always more stuff to do. So the, the little panel here at the end lights up a little yellow light when one of the handles needs turning. It's a bit make work, but there you go. It's a game. Tufty, are you ready? Ready. Mike. It's not gladiators. Ready. I am ready. Uh, ready. Jumping. After getting your ship up and running, you Three, void jump two, to each mission objective one. in turn. Uh, a mission is made of one to three objectives that you do one after another. Three, two, one. Some objectives involve shooting boss ships. Oh man, it's actually a lot quicker when, when we're all firing at it. Hostile reinforcement yeah. detected. Okay, so we, 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 are you going to keep focusing boss. down? It's yeah, oh, the pipes are now firing at us. Yep. Good job. Others have you leave the ship, out the door open, the EVA beginning, to find objects or turn something on at a derelict station or oh, shipwreck. Yeah, Ah, here's a power fuse. I, yeah, I've got one here. If the sniper dude turns up, I will start trying to dodge him, so just let um, me know where Where do the, the power fuses go? This aspect feels the least polished. 
it's quite hard to find what you're supposed to do on these away missions. Terminal offline restore power before use, but like, how? You need to bring it anything? No, uh, but nothing. I mean, there's no okay. obvious place to like plug something into it. The stations are hard to navigate. Your air doesn't last nearly long enough. Yeah, that, that uh, bit you're hovering over at the moment. Yeah, no, we, it's it's inside a sort of crate. I mean, this, okay, okay this is it. a door, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but and this we can't is the room in. with um, it in. Yeah. There's not like no F a handle here. Anywhere, is there? I mean, the door looks do broken. Do, do, do you think they got to shoot it in the ship? Well, no. And it just feels very strange to be going out without any tools or weapons. I, I'm going to go out and fix the hull. The same EVA mechanic is also used for repairing hull damage. Rev, are you clear for EVA? Um, how I'm just spinning around and Alloys added to ship's getting stores. my ass on these. Okay, yes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm really Airlock open. I am outside the ship. Head Where are these hull the things? They are one is above that airlock and the other is opposite side and a little bit forward. Okay, All one is repaired. That serves to make it hard to cheese your repairs while you're still in combat and gives you a reason to stick around after clearing an area to repair before jumping to the next objective where there might already be fighty boys lined up. You only have a limited time in the mission areas before a reclaimer enemy comes to clean up. Oh, reclaimer arriving in, in 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, they're dead over here. Um, I assume that means uh, we want to be out of here by then. The starter loadout has unlimited ammunition, but more advanced loadouts have weapons with limited ammunition, which you have to load by hand. Spike's nearly out of ammo. Giving you another reason not to linger too long. Have an ammo. If a player dies, they respawn, but this uses up biomass, a resource you need to collect during the mission. Sorry. Oh. Although fires and electrical faults on the ship can hurt you. Sorry, yeah, the, uh, the, the repairs do electrical damage and so on. Uh, very <laughs> the lack of personal combat means this is most likely to happen from running out of oxygen on an EVA. If your hull strength reaches zero, your ship is destroyed and you fail out of the mission. Though uh, not before some sarcastic sounding remarks from the ship's computer. Boosting away. Hull integrity 10%. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, let's get away. Hull integrity. 5%. Meta preserve us. We're gonna die. <laughs> I'm too too trying to do repairs, sorry. Uh da 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 All integrity at 1%. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Wow. Oh. Yeah. If you complete the one to three objectives one. and jump out at the end. There we go. Ah. Oh yeah. Yay. Divine victory. Wow. Divine we victory. We are pretty divine. You go back to the hub world where you can use the new cosmetics you unlocked and spend any skill points you got. Oh, promotion. Animus Crate Arc Shield Mark 1. Bonus alloys, bonus biomass. Junk loot box. Loot box? But this all feels like a token system right now. And what do I get from that? What does everyone get in their loot boxes? I got a... Beholder? I got oh, layered I got, tries. I got an orange colour. I got awakening. Although there are no fixed roles on the ship itself, there are separate skill trees for piloting, gunning, engineering, EVA, and you can only have one of those skill trees active at once. I got a triangle. Ooh. Yeah, I you, got, oh, yeah. you are a yeah. danger sign, Tufty, is what you are. <laughs> Okay, but what about my cosmetic items? <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, 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 I feel like this whole mechanic is just a bit rubbish, really. So it's like you're you're stuck until you complete one skill tree. You're basically stuck playing one role, yeah. and then yeah, it's lame. You would have thought you could have the same number of points for any branch of tree would be the the normal. Yeah, or be able to refund them sense. so you can real re 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 them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you, you you know it comes with special customization options so you can make your character your own, but y you get the options at random. Yeah, <laughs> so you get to construct your own random character. <laughs> yeah, yep. is the anal gun on by the way or not? Oh no, it's off. Oh, okay, that's fine. I will, okay. I will turn it off. Are we clear to EVA? I mean, we don't need it, Mark. I don't think we need it. We yes, yes, yes. You're fine. You're fine. Jump I, out. I, I would turn it on because I think I, we may want it. Is that really where we're going to? 
It's a long way yeah. away. It's two clicks. Do you expect us to no, jump back all not, the way? It's like 150 meters. 150 meters away. What? No, you're on the wrong side. On the wrong side of the ship. <laughs> other other airlock. Oh, yeah, there. Can... Okay. Yeah. Void Crew reminds me a lot of the early days of Deep Rock Galactic, when it was just running through tunnels with boring weapons, with the only goal being to get a handful of NAF cosmetic items. Like those early days, the missions are confusing and samey, and the cosmetics you unlock feel a bit pointless. Oh, that's... Oh, oh shit, there's a, a, a purple triangle zippy thing behind us. Can you turn around? Oh, of course I can turn around. That said, the game's already bags of fun, and I think you'll get a few shit, sessions shit. of really enjoyable uh, gameplay okay. out of this as it stands. Can, 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 okay, can you stop moving? I'm trying, I need to get... Sorry, I'm trying to help down. Can you, can you roll the starboard? Can you wait to let me get in the ship first? One strength that the game has over games like Pulsar Lost Colony with fixed crew roles is that it would be easy to extend the game to larger groups by adding bigger ships. Of the two ships in the game currently, the smaller is recommended for two to three players, and they've now added a loadout with AI controlled turrets suitable for solo play. Sentience auto turrets, boring. The larger is up for up to four players, but as a four stack, we were never short of things to do, and it could easily accommodate five if they allowed that. My game group usually has five or six players, so I'd really like to see a larger ship that can scale up to the larger group. A lot of co-op games, including crew games, are balanced for a fixed number of players, usually four, or they don't scale well to larger or smaller groups. And I think the designers at Focus Entertainment have made a really smart move by giving themselves the freedom to add bigger ships in future, which means they could fill that gap in the market. Okay, so there's thruster boosters here, which don't draw power, but you have to like push them here and then use them from the helm. The mechanic where stations need to be turned on and off, but you don't have the power to run them all at once. Anus, please, sir, thank you. Yep, okay, I'll turn shields. my gun off for a while. Um, there's one still on, but a mine. Please Wait, remember to turn your guns off behind you. I'm gonna have yeah. to start doing like dad things, like what do you think Scoop this is? Off, Black ball is. illuminations, etc. Do we can all go? The multi-step procedure for using the airlock. No, that, I don't know. That just seems like a. <laughs> Let's oh, oh, press the suit on. Mike, everyone got their suit on. Oh, you have. Okay. I, I have put one on. I think. The need to conserve ammo and to manage your stacks of repairs, alloys, and biomass as a team. Okay, we have two crates of ammo left and one of repair plates. All of these encourage discipline and good habits. Three, two, one, go. Please be seated. And so when your team does them very well, you really get that feeling of mastery. I have been sat. Oh, everybody went up to lift. I'm coming up the Softy, stairs. Softy, are you sitting? I am seated. I'm seated. Ready. Jumping. Three, two, one. A lot of the mechanics also have a skill flaw in terms of communicating together. I, I wouldn't even attempt to play this game without voice comms. Three, and the need to manage two, resources one. and alert people to jobs and threats that they can't see on their own screens. Are there any windows yeah. where you can get out and see what's going on? Um, all the windows are like in the cockpit means you'll need to be communicating effectively all the time oh yeah i got it I i'm it. going back in hey uh, yep yeah, sorry with me e. no to ship stores do you want to get in oh. sis hey, yeah i said wait for me and just like in close pop. door Sorry. die in the vacuum of space <laughs> or oh, tell me how good you thought my poem was while I really value that in a co-op game, I, I know it will exclude some players and make it a lot harder to drop into public games. Anyone has a joint charge going? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I'm waiting, yep. I'm here, three, two, one, charge. Please be seated. Deep Rock sacrificed a lot of that so that it's very possible to play without voice comms. And that and a lot of really clever design elements means there's a huge pickup community in Deep Rock that you can just join in, even if you don't speak English well or can't join voice for whatever reason. Are you ready with the guns? No, that's yeah. Oh, it's locking. It gives us a lead indicator. That's amazing. Oh, oh, oh 
see that. Is it only me who can lock then, or is it you I think so. so. The design choices in Void Crew so far make it a much deeper game, more enjoyable if you like games with tight comms, but also less accessible. Are coming. Uh, do some trimming. Thank you. I need four trims. Yep. I'm on board. Okay. Ow. Oh. Ah, oh, no! No, I wasn't on board! <laughs> <laughs> Focus Entertainment have published a roadmap for Void Crew, and arguably every early access developer should do this. In the first update, they promise toys, which could be a strategic move. If they focus on things like cosmetics that are mainly artist work, they could be planning to free up developer time to work on all the lingering bugs that they couldn't fix before release. You've still got two superficial defects to fix. Or to spend that time starting on a bigger feature for update two, something too big to fit into a single update cycle. Then they've left update two very vague, so they have an early opportunity to make big changes of direction in response to early reviews before the community gets too attached to the way things work now, which is often a problem in early access games. There's a mine attached to us, I believe. Yeah. It's a pebble mine. Yeah. Update 3 promises new objectives and ship loadouts, and I think those will be essential to add variety and longevity to the game, to stop the early adopters getting bored too soon. Then 4 is for new customization options, and if that's still the plan when we get to that point, reworking the unimaginative character creation and progression systems could really improve the sense of reward and let players identify more with their characters, which is something that's very absent now. Right, what is everyone? Oh, I got magenta in my loot box. Oh, That'll be useful for my uh, staging of the yep. Rocky ah. Horror Show. With these two updates, three and four, oh, magenta. The game could follow Deep Rock's trajectory and become a game that stays fun for hundreds of hours. Um, I think these they, ones aren't ball cubes can. anyway. They look different. Yeah. Um, do we want to go towards them? I'm getting yeah. low, probably. Ah, oh, cheer up, Rev. <laughs> it wasn't that bad last time. <laughs> if you're looking for a crew game for smaller groups that rewards good communication and provides opportunities like co-op Mario games, where you end up working against each other in a fun way. It is a pity that one of us isn't a traitor, isn't it? I can see that really uh, improving the... Uh... Okay, so... Wait until everyone else has gone for a spacewalk and then drive the ship away. The, uh... I can already recommend Void Crew. As for whether it can navigate early access to gain broader appeal and the replayability that will keep it fun for years, it certainly has the potential for that, but we'll see if the execution lives up to it. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was helping that off that mission. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought it was good, productive. Yep. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Yeah, a bit, a bit weird to start with, but yeah, actually really yeah, good. Bonus alloys, bonus fire break. mass, uh, loot box. Yeah. Objective. It, it is. Objective ambush. Objective uh, level ambush. 6. Team points. Yeah. Level 6. If anyone is curious, ah, it is very much like a better version of the Warframes Railjack. I see. Yeah. Thanks to Rev, Mike and Suz for being a cool crew. This has been Void Crew. You've been finding out what the fuss is about. And I've been Tufty Indigo. Toodle pip.